Colin here. Uh, if you're watching this, you're probably a part of the LifeBridge Christian Church uh, music or tech team. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about some more stuff going on in ProPresenter. And uh, mainly what we're going to do is we're going to focus on how to in import a song or scripture um, in order to uh, edit them, uh, just import them into the service. And so what I'm going to do is, I, mean, I covered some of this in uh, the big main video on how to use ProPresenter 7. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and add a totally different um, Sunday. So I'm going to pick like the last, well, I'm going to pick, I'll just pick next week. Um, so uh, we have a, a completely blank slate here. And so the first thing I want to do is show you how to import uh, scripture um, and how to use that. And so, uh, again, just kind of a recap, we have over to the left, we have presentations and right now nothing's in there. We have scripture, nothing's in there. We have sermon. Uh, so that's all the stuff in there. Service, service elements, uh, Christmas songs, uh, traditional hymns and Sunday songs. And those are all of our libraries. And so right now I'm actually going to delete presentations cause we don't use that right now. Um, so we have scripture. So what you have to do is up here at this top right here. So you have show, and that's where the main, you know, the main thing is. It's shown on the screen. Uh, you have edit, um, and if we had anything in here, it would pop up and it would allow us to start editing it. You have reflow. We like never use that. I'm not even like totally sure um, exactly how it works. I know you can, um, if there's things in here, you can kind of like uh, rearrange them a little bit. Uh, but what we want to do is click on Bible. And so we use um, anything, it comes with King James Version, but we use the Christian Standard, English Standard, and the New American Standard Version. So let's just, um, let's just look up Psalm 122, verse 1. So the first thing is going to pop up is this, and it gives you your, um, your preview over here. Um, so you can see it. Let's actually, yeah, let's get that to where it's a little bit bigger. Um, so you can see that here, and that's the theme we have. Now, you can change the theme. And the theme is like, how is the, the slide organized? And so what you would do that is you would click on options. And so this gives you, so this Bible here just shows that, hey, this is all the Bibles we have. There's a couple free options, but they're all like kind of random ones. Um, so uh, you would show verse numbers. Um, we can do break on new verse if we'd like, um, w you know, verse references, passage, all those different things. Um, but ultimately, uh, you would click on theme. Oh, there we go. Theme. And then there's a couple of different options for just, you know, you can go through all these different ones. And so, for instance, you know, you could go to, let's see, um, clouds. You can say, okay, scripture quote. I want that to look like clouds. The problem about that is is we don't have that graphic or that media loaded in here but it will um, assign it to look like this and so we can go back to it and same thing like forest we can click on forest and nothing's there because uh, it is not uh, we don't have that media here um, so another thing we can do um, and this is kind of the one I typically use is we go to lyrics Lyric styles, um, there we go. And I usually go through one of these, and it usually tends to be one of these that ends up looking okay. There's a couple different options. Um, actually, I think it was this one. I'm not actually sure which one I was using before, but but this is just a couple different themes, and you can actually create your, new, your own theme. I'll do that in another video, because um, that can get a little confusing. Um, but these are all the themes we use. So, you know, let's say that scripture quote right there. Okay, you know, that's fine. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one I had it on originally, but yeah, so these are a couple different options that you can use. Um, but, uh, if you don't have that media, um, behind you, it won't, or behind it, it won't show that. Um, it'll just, it'll just, uh, show the, um, this style right here, you know, the way it changes in formats formats that's the word I was looking for so okay so now that you have this set up you can also change this here um, depending on you know how you want to utilize it usually just doing Bible reference is just kind of the normal way to go um, you know background image you can change different things usually Bible text is you know just the way it 
looks best. Uh, but again, remember options, you can change the theme. Uh, that is how we would utilize that. Um, so the next thing you want to do is, uh, you know, this is different than importing a song, is you have to go down here to the bottom left, click Save As. And so what you're going to do is, is you're going to click Save As. And because right here, if you noticed it, in Options, uh, the import library is set to Scripture. Once you hit Save As, it's and it's because we clicked on it right here already, it should just pop up. It may take a second. There we go. Boom. So it's right there. Um, so now that you're done editing, whatever, maybe you have a couple different scriptures you want to add in, whatever you got to do. Once you're done doing that, you're going to click back on Show. And you're going to go to June 20th. And let's just pretend that Song 2 is, or let's go to, um, yeah, let's just pretend that Song 2 is, is scripture instead of an actual song and so you would go back to that scripture you would click on it and so remember this because if you just click on it it just pulls you right back to the source so what you would have to do and we try to avoid this is you'd have to click on june 20th again go back to song two go back to scripture and then what you want to do is you want to click hold down and drag over so boom now you can edit it like any other slide you can go to edit here and you know you can do whatever you want to do um, then you could, you know, you can quick edit with right click and, you know, same thing. Um, so that is just the easiest way, uh, to import scripture into a service. Um, you know, you can, this is a more complicated way, I even hesitate to kind of tell you, but, um, if you, you know, for some reason weren't able to get it, um, we can delete that. So if we were to go to Bible and we say, okay, I got that right. You could copy it. And then you could like make it into a presentation somewhere, but that would just get really complicated. And I think just going to save as, clicking that, boom, there it is. And then going back and, and dragging it where it needs to be. I think that's just the easiest thing to do. Um, so again, you know, if song two was that, you would drag it over, boom. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about um, before we get to the song um, editing and how to import a song is uh, I want to talk about uh, how to what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stop <laughs> and I'm going to I'm going to make this a totally separate video um, so what you have now is the how to uh, import the scripture uh, I don't want to go too far ahead and mess you up so what I'm going to do is we've we've learned how to import scripture so the next thing we'll learn how to do real quick is to import a song. And again, I kind of covered this on um, on the other video, but I want to go a little more in depth here. So don't get confused. We're going to kind of take a step back, and I want to show you how to import a song. So what you're going to do is you'll come up to File, and you'll see Import. And so you can import a lot of things. You can import a file. You can import even a PowerPoint. Um, even media, I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to import media two different ways. Um, a, you know, a totally different pro presenter library. But what we want to do is use Song Select, and Song Select is what we use to license all of the music that we use on Sunday mornings or any other service. So you're going to click that, and if it's as long as it's logged into it, and it should stay logged in, it's going to give you an option to pull up, um, so, you know, to literally just be able to search Song Song Select song select wow um, so what we're gonna do is is I'm just gonna pick a random song run to the father Oop. well it did pull it up but run to the father and I'm gonna look through this and I'm gonna say okay that none of those are that okay there it is right there I know who wrote it I knew I had part of it yep that's part of the scripture so I'm gonna click import it's gonna pull up this new um, this new kind of options editing thing and so the same thing as we had so they should always be 1920 by 1080 that's the standard size we use for everything but then you have this option for clicking and picking all these different themes and typically I try to use a similar theme they're all with lyric styles and lines I try to use those because some of the other ones just end up looking a little weird just depending on the one um, but since we're gonna delete the song I will just use a totally different one this time so I'll just use outline text I have no idea what that looks like but then slides delimited by line break two delimiters per slide so that just means that typically two um, sets of uh, lines are going to be on each slide um, we want to make sure unless it's one of these other things we want to save it into sunday songs we're going to click import and it's going to automatically pull us up that looks kind of cool kind of different 
um, it's going to automatically pull us up and it's going to automatically default to whatever kind of flow the song says it'll have. And so before I do anything, the first thing I do in a song uh, when I get it here, and this, this song evidently has a lot going on, um, is I go through and I click the bottom and I'll go to presentation and I'll click new slide because I like having the last slide blank um, and I'll explain that a little bit more in the media video. So then I'll kind of go through and um, and sometimes I forget to do it. And so if you ever are going through and you see, okay, um, you know, there there's a lyric missing. Uh, the way you would do that is you would you would make sure you clicked on that, go to edit, and then you're gonna double click on everything and make sure that there's not any lyrics hiding. And so this song probably isn't gonna do it. But if you click, sometimes what'll happen is you'll notice a line will pop up. And you'll be missing some lyrics because it won't all fit within this this uh, rectangle. So let's just pretend that's what it's, it's doing. So what you would do is it would it, the words would like pop up out of. I'll just you know I'll just show you. Um, I will add in my own words. So all right. Whoop. <laughs> so now you see. So when you click off of it, that's all you see. So when you click on it again, boom, oh, okay, there's all the lyrics. So the way to fix that, once you um, you know find out where it's at, is you go to no text scaling right here, and you fit container to text. And then that'll do it. That fixes it right then and there. And so um, that is uh, the easy way to kind of work through that. Um, so once you have the song imported and you kind of went through and tried to check it out, um, what I do is for instance like OOOs and interludes and things like that. We don't we don't need that. So I'll go through and I'll click on them, and I know that this stuff right here is ad lib. So I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that out. Um, and I see, okay, here I have my my first verse, I have my chorus, I have my second verse, I have my bridge. That's all the song consists of. And typically, just for me personally, I like to leave them as they are. Um, as long as they're not too complicated. So, for instance, like I like to know, okay, this is is this is the verse um, that's here, and it's gonna pull me to the verse. And then, uh, if you just saw that A pop up, that's actually a hotkey. And so, you can actually use these hotkeys once you remember them to get you uh, back and forth through the song. And um, it depends on what song is set up like what, because some of them have different. Um, different hotkeys like for instance if we go back to like this this week's song and we click on it um they typically will have like a for verse one chorus for chorus s for um the second verse um and then b for bridge but some of them may be a little different so let's scroll down to the next one that may let's see if we can find anything that has a third i don't think um i don't think we have a song Oh, here we go. All right, so we have A for the uh, for the first. Whoops, sorry, I wasn't clicked on it. That's why I went back to the top. So that's another thing. If you use hotkeys, you got to make sure you're actually clicked on where you're at. So, um, so S for the second verse. Then we have D <laughs> for the third verse, and F for the fourth, and then E for the ending. Um, so we can set up these hotkeys, and we can we can change them um, in different ways. Um, I don't I don't want to confuse you there um, but what I may do in the future is we may eventually go through and, and kind of make a code for each um, hotkey and say hey um, a is going to be verse one B is going to be verse two you know and so on and things like that um, and then you know we'll try to figure out how to not make it confusing um, but that is a good little quick way to use that um, let's go back to where I was at because I want to mess with that song a little bit more to show you some stuff. Well, lost it. There it is. So um, again, uh, you'll you know you can use Quick Edit, and that'll just pull that up, and you double t you know you can type whatever. I'm gonna delete this song out, um, so don't worry about all the weird stuff. But then you know you can also edit slide, and boom, it's gonna take you there. And again, you'll see up here has you over on the edit side. Um, and you know, there's a couple other things you can do. You know, you could, um, you could click the first uh, slide of the course, and then you could hold down Shift, click the last one. You could copy it. 
Um, you could, you know, go down and, and paste another one. Um, boom, you have another one. But the problem is, is once you've done that, is it's not labeled anymore. And so you would have to actually go through and you'd have to, you'd have to go through and you'd have to label that. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes depending on it, it won't even let you, um, you know, just the way that this is, this is set up, um, you are, sorry, not label, it should be in a group. So like, it won't even, you know, it won't even let me do that. Um, so I'd have to come through and I'd have to do this. And this is like creating a whole new group. Um, so, you know, I could say chorus, whoop, chorus two, um, you could save the label, boom. But then see, it's not the same thing. It's a little bit different. Um, so that gets a little confusing. Uh, and I try not to do that. I try to just stick to not copying and pasting them and moving them in different places um, I try to keep them because um, it starts doing crazy stuff and not even being the way it should be. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. And that makes sense as to why I don't usually copy and paste things or add more to them. I try to keep them pretty simple. And that way we can eventually use these hotkeys. Um, so, uh, but if you did want to just, um, for instance, you know, like you just pasted um, this in here and you wanted to do the thing I was talking about um, I'm going to take that label off so it doesn't get confusing um, but see because it's caused such a such a mess um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through I'm going to I'm going to click and delete all of these and don't let this confuse you but this is just kind of a way to, to learn so now I'm back to where I was I have my verse I have my chorus I have my verse two, I have my bridge. So let's just say I wanted to copy the chorus like I did before. Um, I, you know, shift, click the first one, click the second one, copy it. And I'm like, all right, I want to put it in after verse uh, two. So I'm going to paste it here. So boom, we're popped up here. So this is the first um, slide. And because we copied and pasted this, it acknowledges that these are all in the same group even though it doesn't look like it. So what you have to do is first click on that first one, um, only one, not all at the same time, and you have to go to group, and you could hit, you know, chorus two. There you go, bam. Now we have a chorus two, and, excuse me, it's totally different now. Um, so hopefully that doesn't, isn't too, so now we have, a, you know, if you can see it, we have a totally different hotkey now. Um, so that's, kind of the reason why I typically try to stay away from adding you know like the flow like okay verse one chorus verse two okay next course I try to keep it like if the course is the same let's just keep it the same that's just my preference I think that will help when we eventually get to a place where we actually use the hotkeys because you know again you can hit a you can hit C you can hit S and you're like okay we're gonna go back to that course boom C okay bridge okay bridge oh they're doing the course again oh they're doing the bridge again oh he's doing the second verse and so on um i think that'll help uh us utilize the hotkeys more if we don't add more than we have to um so hopefully that makes sense but that's how you import a song um and that's how you uh import scripture as well and so the same thing with you know with any other song is you would go to july 22nd or 20th june 20th uh, click on cornerstone let's just pretend that run to the father was cornerstone um wherever it went and then you would just you know you would drag it in and that's it that's how you uh import a song and so in the next video um uh, i'm gonna take you where we were oh and let me tell you this one last thing um let's say we're like whoops i pulled the wrong thing in here that's not song two or that's not cornerstone what you would do to get rid of that is you would click unlink unlink boom gone um, and then, you know, let's say we're done with Run to the Father. We're not using that song anymore. We delete it. Easy as that. Gone. Um, so hopefully that made sense. I know that might have been a lot uh, because as I was going through this, I didn't have really like a method of like, here's the flow. I was just, I want to teach you how to edit and add in uh, Bible scriptures uh, quickly, how to add in the songs, how to edit them as well. Um, how to add different themes to them. And so in the next video, what I'm going to do, uh, you know, where we took a step back is I'm going to show you how to 
add media, how to actually import it, how to delete it, how to utilize it. And so uh, that'll be in the next video. Hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions at all, again, just ask me and uh, we'll work through it together. So hopefully this helps you and uh, see you in the next video.